Here we are with section 2.5. We're going to do the answers to number 16 through 27 now. These are percent problems, and these first few are just translation, where we have 85 is, means equals, what percent x of 39? We now have our equation. We can solve it. Divide both sides by 39, divide by 39, and we get 2.18. We don't want just the number, we want what percent. So move this two decimal places and we get 218 percent. Number 17. 85 is 54 percent, that's a .54 of what? There's my x right there. This becomes an equation, it's one step. We can divide by .54, divide by .54, and we get 157.4. Good. What is 19%, that's 0 .19, of 2,340? This we don't even have to solve. X is already by itself. We just need to punch it in the calculator, and we get uh, 444.6. Round to the nearest tenth there, that's good. What is 23%, 0.23, of, meaning times, 79? Again, we don't even have to solve anything, we just do 23% of 79. Which, putting it into a calculator, is 18.17. Good. Number 20, 119 is 18% of what? There all we have to do is divide by 0.18 and we get x, divide by 0.18 and x is going to equal 119 divided by 0.18 and we get 661.1 Number 21, 43 is what percent? We don't know of 174. So to get x by itself, we divide by 174, divide by 174, and x equals 2.247, move the decimal two places, equals 24.7%. Good. Number 22. Here we have the original price and we have the tax, and so we're going to find the final price. This one doesn't actually need any variables at all. We're not going backwards, not finding the original one. So we could take 72.56 times 0 .073, and we punch that in our calculator. That's how we get 7.3% of that original price. Once you get that, you add it to the, tax, to the price because it's a tax. So we have 72.56 plus this tax. That gives us 77.86. Don't forget the dollar sign there. Ah, that's looking good. The shortcut for this would have been 72.56 times by itself to get the full price back plus the 0 .073 tax on there. And if you times those two together, you'll get the final price. If you like that shortcut, you're certainly welcome to use it. Number 23. Here, we don't have the original price. But we have a discount of 30%. Now, discount is going to be subtraction. Let's keep that in mind. Now, this final price, 49.70. Some might think we times those two together, but we don't. Over here, we times this by the original. So I'm going to put a variable there, and you need algebra for this that it's going to be the original price and you're subtracting off 30 percent point three of the original price that's how you get the final price of 4970 p minus point three p equals 4970 p minus point three p is point seven p equals 4970 so divide by point seven divide by point seven and we get p equals, the original price, equals 71. You can write it like this, or with the dollars and cents, that's all right too. That's the original price, and you can try it out. Take 30% of 71, and you'll get 22, 2130. 
and it will be exactly subtract it off it'll give you exactly 49.70 okay number 24 same thing we have price we don't know it so we pick a variable for it and here we have a tax which is added so the price plus five percent of the price don't forget this that five percent has to be times by the price and it's point zero five equals our three thirty nine fifty one point oh five p if you like that shortcut up there you can see that's what's happening you're taking the price and five percent of it to equal that thirty three thirty nine fifty divide by one point oh five divide by one point oh five so p equals and we get three twenty three point three three dollars and thirty three cents there we go alright this one we're not looking for the original so we can just go forward on this one we can take fifty five point five zero times by point four and that will be forty percent of that price and that's going to be subtracted from the fifty five fifty and that's going to equal our final price. We don't need a variable, we just take 40% of this and subtract it off, and we end up with final price 33.30. Good, number 26. A population of a town grew 31% up, so that means we're going to be adding this 31% up to this is our end result. This is our final here. We're looking for the population last year. So the population was last year and it grew 31 percent of what? Well, of that population. This is why we need the equation here. Up to 17,049. This is 1.31p because there's one right here equals 17,049 and divide both sides by 1.31 so 17049 divided by 1.31 equals 13 round to the nearest one 13,015 that was the original population number 27 the price of an object dropped 35 percent that means we're gonna have a minus 0.35 going on here down to again this is our final so we're going to have the original price, pick P, and it dropped down 35% of that price down to 101.25. Now 1 minus 0.35, it's not going to be 1.35, it's going to be 0.65P equals uh, 101.25. Divide by 0.65, divide by 0.65, and so P equals 101.25 divided by 0.65 and we get 155.77 and there we have it good